when you were talking about marriage, um, you kind of made a point that if you stay, um, which is, of course, a really good point, you you have more probabilities to get to a uh, solution, right? Yeah. But that is also like if it's also assumed that you will always get to a solution. Yes, true. So yes, and some and yes, yes. No, no, but a solution that will keep the marriage. True. Well, you know, there used to be, before the divorce laws were really liberalized, there were, there, you could sue for irreconcilable differences. And, and sometimes people do find themselves in that situation. It's like one person wants children and the other person doesn't. It's like, that's a tough one. It's a tough one to negotiate. So, I'm, I'm certainly not saying that just because you lock yourself into a, like two cats in a barrel, that that will make you solve your problems, because problems are hard to solve, and sometimes you can't solve them. I was just pointing out what the cost of, of leaving the back door, what the cost of leaving the back door open is, and it's a big cost. And you know, one of the things I see too is that people's identities fragment increasingly across time. You know, one of the things that you have as you age is something like the continuity of your life. You know, you, you, you have someone that you're with, you've tied your story together with theirs, you have children, maybe they have children, it's like there's this continual payoff, so to speak, in quality that you obtain from staying within that frame. And you, you can jump out of that, and I suppose to some degree that that provides freedom, but it isn't obvious to me that it does that for people. But you're assuming that one specific relationship, it's uh, high quality. It may not be. No, but 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 it's also the case that sequential relationships are unlikely to be that. So, look, I, I'm I'm not I'm not make I'm definitely not making a utopian case for marriage. So, I'm just, I would like to hear the case for divorce from you because it'd be really interesting, right? It's a strong point, but at the same time, I think. There are some relationships that are really low quality. Yeah. And if we, if that's the case, then insisting in, on them uh, cannot be good. Yeah, well, that's, that's definitely the alternative argument. And, and of course, there are strong things to be said on both sides. But See, there's some, there's some additional problems with divorce that people don't really grasp when they're young. Like, the idea that you can be divorced once you have children, that's kind of a stupid idea. Because you can't. You can, you, can, you can find a limited substitute for your initial freedom. But if you, if you have kids and you try to get divorced, the probability that that's going to demolish your life is very, very high. First of all, it's incredibly expensive. So one or both of you is going to come out of that poor. And your market value has declined. Let's say you're the woman who takes the kids. Your market value has declined radically. You're going to be poorer. The man, he's just as screwed. Because he is now an indentured servant. And there's no escape from it. So it's, and it's not so bad if you can negotiate a peaceful separation. And some people can. but. Lots of times, if you have a terrible relationship, it's not like negotiating a peaceful separation is all that easy. But if you're at each other's throats, good luck to you. I think it's roughly equivalent to having non-fatal cancer. It is not pleasant. It's a 10-year process, 15-year process. It'll cost you $250,000, and it'll tear a big chunk out of your life. And also, it will really disrupt your relationship with your kids. And, you know, you, you bring kids into a step-parent family, they do not do as well. Step-parents are not as good parents as biological parents, and the data on that is clear. Now, obviously, there are exceptions, because there are terrible biological parents, and there are wonderful step-parents. But if you look in aggregate, it's not that easy to care for children. You need everything you can binding you to them. And if they're someone else's children, Mostly, they get in the way of the person that you love, right? Well, if I'm, let's say you have a child, I'll be right out. Let's say you have a child and I want to go out with you. 
every second you spend with that child is the second you don't spend with me. And, and there's going to be a price for that. I'm not going to be happy about that. And, and if I have a child, you're going to feel exactly the same way. You might say, well, no, I love children. It's like, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure you do. I doubt it. You might love your child. And, and you know, it's pretty specific the way that people love children. So, and the rate of abuse for kids in step-parent families is way higher than it is in biological families. There's not even any comparison. So, anyways.